hey hi everyone i hope you're all doing well a lot of you have been asking me on discord and uh, linkedin for help like setting up this bot and so i decided to make this super simple tutorial there won't be any fancy production memes or like animations it's, it's just like me walking you through the how to install the setup or how to install and set up this bot oh and uh, if you haven't joined our discord community yet definitely join the link is in the description or uh, you would find it in uh, the socials section of this readme so yeah definitely join okay let's get started so so the first part would be to install python at least like you need a python version of 3.10 or above um, so this is like the an easy part uh, all you have to do is search for python and uh, go to their official website you would find the download button and just click download it will download the package and you follow through the instructions like i i'm currently using mac but uh, regardless of whether you are using windows or linux the process is pretty much the same you basically install a, a setup uh, and then you just go through that uh, prompts i'm not going to install now because i already have python installed on this mac and uh, if you are stuck on this don't worry there are like tons of youtube tutorials on how to install python for all the os's available so yeah you can pause the video here and like go to that and search for that okay okay once you have installed a python i would recommend having an ide uh, i'm using visual studio code but you can use any ide that supports python and uh, if you don't have visual studio code you can just search for it and go to the official link and download your specific version and again if you are stuck on this step feel free to pause the video search for like a youtube tutorial on how to install visual studio code and you will find tons of them so yeah all right and then you go to the github page of this bot i will provide the link for this um so the easiest way to uh get the code is basically like clicking on this drop down button and using a download zip file you can basically download the zip file and you should have all the code needed go to your uh, file system extract the files um, and once you extract the file you can open that in visual studio code again feel free to use any id here i'm just using visual studio code but you don't have to use specifically visual studio code okay so that's the easy part and i mean the other part is also going to be easy but it's just going to get a little lengthy so um once you open the project in the visual studio code you will have to install a bunch of dependencies make sure the python version is selected uh, or like the right python if you are using python environments like the right python environment is also selected um, and then you will have to just paste in this command I will also uh, provide this command uh, below in the job description. I mean, in the YouTube tutorials description. So basically, just copy and paste it. In this setup, I'm not going to uh, set up the AI part because uh, right now I feel like the AI configuration that are provided in this is not complete and 
it it's it doesn't feel much useful to me so that's why i'm skipping that part but if you also want to use ai you will have to install a uh, a bunch of other packages to like uh, open ai deep seek and gemini related stuff uh, okay so once you install uh, once you do once you run the command you should have all the dependencies installed and then now comes the configuration part so if you look if you look at the project structure you will find a folder called config this is where like you update your uh, search parameters and like write information about yourself uh, so whatever you whatever information that you provide here that will be used for uh, answering the questions like application questions or filling the application form in in linkedin uh don't forget to change your name and phone number like add add your city and uh like fill out the forms uh, go through, go through it like i have also provided like examples and instructions on how to do it so some of the common mistakes in filling up the configuration is uh not providing quotes at the end of strings this is python so you have to provide like you have to write your uh, inputs surrounded in quotes double quotes even single quotes would also work um uh, and then this is the this is where like the, these are the some of the common questions asked in the application so go through them again and like fill out the information uh so this is one of the things that you need to configure uh basically if you provide a, a resume uh to the bot it will use that resume by default but if you don't provide one that's completely fine you don't have to uh it's not a requirement if you don't provide a resume it would use uh it would use the previously uploaded resume on your linkedin so I, i for this tutorial i'm not providing one uh on said the like years of experience uh, do you if you require visa or not because this information will be used to filter the jobs for example if the job is asking for like 10 years of experience and if you only have like 5 or uh 4 years it would actually skip that job i mean wait a minute i i don't think this is that setting uh, let me just look for you can skip the resume dot py uh again the project is not complete so you will find some incomplete files you can skip through them search dot py this is where you configure like what jobs you want to search for so i am a software engineer so i am searching for these uh, titles and you will provide your location don't worry about the switch number it's fine uh basically in a nutshell uh if you provide here 30 or 10 whatever the switch number is so once it applies for like the 30 jobs of software engineer it will switch to the next search term uh software developer again after 30 jobs of application after 30 applications for software developer it will switch to the next one right now i believe linkedin has um linkedin has like maybe a limit of 50 applications max per day so like having the number less than that would be beneficial so if i provide here 10 it would just like apply for a software engineer jobs uh 10 software engineer jobs and then switch to the software developer apply 10 software developer jobs switch to the next one okay so this is like the job filters uh, part like uh, for the linkedin filters like you ha- you have to provide the input uh, of what filters you want to select uh, again some of the common mistakes are true or false these are like case sensitive you have to provide like exactly true and like exactly false don't use quotes here you don't have to provide uh, and filling out and also during filling out the multiple select like use quotes inside uh, whenever you are providing the 
whenever you're providing the filters for example if you want to apply to jobs that are entry level and associate level you provide it that way you have to make sure that double quotes are provided for each for each um, for each select type and also there's a comma in between the brackets don't forget the square brackets square brackets are also important and for dynamic multiple select like you don't have to follow the exact uh, so whenever you see the word dynamic you don't have to like use the words that are provided in the example exactly you could use for example here uh, let's see amazon is provided or not looks like amazon is not provided so uh, what are the companies that are, that i would like to apply i would like to apply for amazon and again double quotes don't forget the comma it should be enclosed in square brackets uh, I want to apply for Google, uh, Uber maybe, and Apple. So this is how you write the dynamic multiple select. All right. What else? So go through go through these settings. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, basically. Uh, you would get what what those settings would do and uh, and the instructions on how to fill them out all right and then this is where you provide your username and password for linkedin if you are using windows you probably you can probably skip this step you don't have to provide username and password uh, because it will automatically log into the Chrome browser with your existing Chrome profile. But if you're on Mac, definitely provide the username and password. Um, I haven't figured out like how to uh, use the existing user Chrome profile. So even if you're logged into LinkedIn, it would probably not work on Mac and this is where you set the behavior of the bot um, go through the settings again like the explanation is provided for each setting uh, feel free to go through it all right so let me just quickly update the email and password i'm gonna pause the video for now all right, I just filled in my username and password. Nothing, uh, that's all. So, okay, uh, yeah. Don't forget to configure these uh, because this is where like the search uh, parameters would be defining like which jobs to skip and which jobs to apply. For example, in the bad words, if I added like um, no C2C or no cop to cop, whenever it finds the word, no c to c on the job description it would skip that job uh, so go through these settings these are these are kind of important for optimizing your search okay so once you have configured everything just go to the run ai bot.py and you'll be running this uh, that's all you need to do so i'm gonna click run Okay, so it opened up Google Chrome. Since I don't have a resume already provided to it, it will pop, it will just issue a warning to me. I just say like, okay, and yep. There we go. And it's working. So these are the companies that I previously provided, basically Google, Amazon, Uber. These are the companies that I want to apply for, Apple. And uh, you can always like pause search if, uh, 
if you don't like these settings you can always like update the settings so for example right now there are no uh, jobs from these so I'm just going to apply that and just going to say looks good and continue and it will start continue and it will continue from there so right now it's looking for jobs and once it finds the ones it will automatically apply right now I'm going to discard this and I'm going to close the browser once once you're done with applying you just close it if you see previously like when it was applying for this job it used my previously uh, so it used the resume that I previously uploaded on LinkedIn but if you want to use a specific resume all you have to do is um, let me just show you what you need to do I'm, I'm going to close the browser since I'm done once you're done it will just uh, show this pop-up click OK and the program will exit automatically so if you go back to the uh, folder the the project folder you will find a, a folder called all resumes and this is where you provide your uh, resume in this section uh, the names uh, the name of the folder should be exactly uh, just a minute mm. so the name of the resume should be exactly resume dot pdf uh, or uh, you can just upload your resume and change the name uh, for example if you upload it like example resume you can change the name here but the the idea is you need to provide the relative path of the of the resume that you want to use um, yeah all right guys happy job hunting and stay tuned like I'm actually developing an advanced bot that is that won't be this clunky uh, I'm actually building like a chrome extension that would be super user friendly like all you have to do is just click on buttons and like you will you will get that done you don't have to set up or anything you just have to install the chrome extension and you can use it I will be posting like daily updates on it uh, on uh, Twitter discord or maybe in LinkedIn so stay tuned and definitely join the discord if if you have any trouble setting up or even for like just getting like updates or like casually chatting with your fellow community like yeah do check it out all right take care